Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. Um, first of all, I feel like in your love sector, um, th there's a, a very flirtatious type of energy that's coming to the surface. And I feel like, you know, you're not naturally, you're, you're friendly, but you're not naturally flirtatious. But somebody is viewing you as a person who's very, either very flirtatious, they're, they're going around breaking hearts, or they have a lot of suitors, or, you know, they have a lot of options, or they just, you know, can strike up a conversation with anybody. Therefore, they feel like there is a lack of safety in, um, in, you know, giving you their love, giving you their affection, because they don't feel like you're stable enough. And, um, the reason I say that is, um, with this card here, <laughs> this is the five of cups. Okay. And you see the, the heartbreak, the, the broken hearts and the lady, she seems like she's enjoying the attention. And then she's got her partner in the background who feels a little bit neglected, who feels a little bit like I'm waiting on you and you're looking at all the other options and you're not really looking at me. So it, your partner feels like that. Your partner feels like you've got a lot of things going on in your life and they're kind of on the sidelines. If you have a, and this is a typical Aquarius thing, so be careful. If you have somebody that you're, uh, that you like or that you're trying to get to, close to, be careful about, you know, flirting with other people or coming across as being flirtatious. You might be, um, you, you might find it difficult to make, you know, direct converse, conversation with the person that you like. And so you draw other people into the conversation so that it doesn't feel awkward, right? And I feel like that kind of backfires because then the other person feels like they're not enough and that's why you're drawing other people into the interaction. And I feel like as well, um, your partner or whoever you're dealing with, they just feel like you have a lot on your plate, that you have a lot of other options and they don't really trust that you're into them. And I also feel as well, you know, you might have somebody from your past that you're trying to move away from and they're very dejected and they feel like they've lost a good thing and they they feel they've lost a really good relationship partner and they're kind of um pining over you know past loves and past relationships and the past it's like constantly churning over and over again in their head it's like walking down uh, memory lane and and thinking about you and also thinking about how they could have done things differently so i see a lot of regret from the person that's far away from the past, whereas you have a lot of things that are happening in your life right now and possibly even a lot of suitors. The person that you're dealing with is the sun. And this to me denotes somebody that is um, very, I, I, I get like a very strong teacher vibe with this energy, okay? The sun allows everything else in its, um, in its, light to shine so it brings about warmth it brings about life it brings about a lot of um, positivity so you have somebody in your life that really boosts you up they boost your self-esteem they talk about you in good terms they also allow you to kind of prosper and thrive so I get a very strong maternal paternal type of a vibe with this energy where somebody is giving it's like someone who's very generous who's very light-hearted who's very carefree and they're very generous so they don't hog the limelight to themselves they like to share and they like to allow other people to thrive but in a way it can create an environment where once the light moves away you know things become very dark and very confusing so you have somebody that's bringing a lot of clarity into your life you have someone who's very generous with their time their resources and they really want you to thrive and at the same time, I feel like, you know, they see you as kind of like the light in their world. And they, they see you as somebody that makes their environment a lot more fun, a lot more exciting, a lot more spontaneous, and a lot more worthwhile. And so it, it allows them to, you know, constantly give you a lot of attention. You have somebody that's giving you a lot of attention, a lot of their time. And be cognizant of that, okay? 
So if you're dealing with one person that's doing this to you, that's like giving you their all, and you look at other options and you go around breaking hearts, they're going to be leaving the picture. So just make sure that you know you count your blessings and make sure you give credit where credit is due and make sure you nurture the ones that make you feel like this or the ones that see you kind of like as the apple of their eyes, okay? Um, I'm feeling as well. We're going from here, the Five of Hearts, the Five of Cups to the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is total... Uh, it's like the, the apex of human happiness, okay? This is like the, the, the completion stage. So we're going through a lot of major changes in your life that are bringing you, you know, like a, a lot of emotional satisfaction this week. I feel like you're leaving somebody in the past. You're letting one relationship go that was very, very heavy. And I feel like it's a, a, a cyclical thing. It's like a pattern. You date one person, you break up, and you date another person. And the second person you date reminds you of the first person. And then you break that off, and then you date somebody else. And that third person reminds you of the previous two people. So there's a lot of cycles that are ending. And, you know, clarity as well, and, and also professional achievements. I feel like clarity into your love relationship, as well as other areas of your life, and in particular, getting really positive, you know, professional achievements, is bringing you this type of energy. It's bringing you that total um, completion of, of your, your emotional state is bringing about friends, is bringing about, you know, somebody that you can in really enjoy your time with and establish that emotional connection with. So if there has been, you know, a lot of misunderstanding between the two of you, where the two of you are trying to patiently deal with each other and patiently, you know, meet each other halfway with the temperance card, it's sort of like doing things in moderation, not aggravating each other, reducing the amount of time that we, you know, flirt with other people, or even cutting down our options so that we end up with the two cups rather than, you know, the five cups. So reducing the amount of time and also looking at things and really analyzing. And a lot of the times, Aquarius, you can be a little bit dense. And um, when it comes to, and I mentioned this, I believe back in May or June, and I feel the same energy resurfacing. If somebody, right, is like waiting for you and they, they, um, they always wait for you every day, day after day after day after day, and then they're, they're waiting for you to do this or they, you know, are very consistent with their communication. Day after day, they text you or email you at a specific time and you're left wondering, do they like me? Well, of course they like you. Otherwise, who in their right mind would put in that much effort and that much attention to nurture and nourish the relationship, right? If it's a friend, they like you. They want to be more than friends. If it's somebody that you're crushing on and you're constantly wondering, do they like me? Of course they like you. And I feel like you can be a little bit dense in figuring out these things. Because I feel like if you were to do these things, it would be for friends as well and for family, for people you care about. And not, not in particular, like, you know, a loved one, like, or somebody you're crushing on. And if you like somebody, more than likely, you won't do these things because you don't want it to be so obvious that you like them. And so your methodologies to kind of like court the people that you like is very different from the person that you're dealing with. They're very clear about their intentions. They're like crystal clear out in the daylight. I'm going to go after what I want and I'm going to make these, you know, not so subtle gestures to show them that I want them. So they want to be the apple of your eyes, whereas I feel like if you like them, you're coy and you're shy, you don't, you appear aloof, you don't want them to know, you feel like once they know, they might have the upper hand, and it makes you feel uncomfortable to like have your feelings exposed, right? But I feel like this is the week where you start to take small steps and the progression of the relationship, you know, moves along in the direction that you want. So 
for those that have been waiting for a long time, this is like the small, small steps, okay, in the right direction. Two people meeting each other halfway and coming to terms with, it, it's almost like the two of cups in the making. It's like coming together, showing each other. It's like, I'll show you my cards if you show me yours. And finding something that is very serene. So I feel like if you've been impatient about this person, um, there's a coming together. If there has been distance between two people, even like an emotional rift, there's a coming together. And it brings about here this emotional state with the Ten of Cups. You're going to be very, very happy. Um, dancing with joy, doing things that are very fun and, you know, um, um, doing things that can be just, just really... I, I see like date night, I see like people going out dancing. I also feel like, you know, the, the little Ferris wheel, like the typical date stuff. And it's like unplanned, it's uh, spontaneous, and it's really, really fun. Keep in mind as well, there are a lot of people in the picture. And with the 10, it's usually family related. So I feel like, you know, you, you feel almost like you're so comfortable around them that you would even consider them your family. And then we have the fool as well, taking a chance. You know, stop being so aloof and, and, and diving into this situation because I feel like there's some clarity coming into the picture in regards to your relationship, in regards to does this person like me or don't they? And in regards to what have I done in the past? How have I behaved that might have driven them away and now they're coming back or how have I behaved in the past that can't where the other person or people around me or people I like might have misconstrued my intentions? Somebody sees you as somebody who's like bouncing around, breaking hearts, and they have trouble trusting you. And this is the week where you have some clarity regarding who has always been there for you, who has been really good to you. And why were they so good to you? If it's a crush, it's because they like you. If it's a past relationship partner, I feel like you're coming into terms or understanding as to how your actions in the past might have hurt this person, might have um, created some type of misunderstanding between you and another person, which allows reconciliation to happen and allows the two of you to come back together. Okay? Um, in other areas of your life, I feel like there is a lot of damage control that you're doing um, in the work front, okay? It's a very kinetic, very busy type of a week. So I want you to be at your best, get rested, get a lot of sleep, make sure you're operating at your best every day because there are a lot of unexpected things. This is um, the guy leading the charge running from one place to the next, having a lot of crises, putting out a lot of fires, and being called at the very last minute to do this, to do that, changing in priorities, uh, changing in direction, changing your office, changing your location. For those of you who are driving or who are transporting stuff, um, be very careful about flat tires, be careful about speeding, be careful about accidents on the road because this is a, one of the fastest moving energies in the deck, okay? So there will be times where people are really going to push your buttons. So just make sure that you take a deep breath and, you know, if you're not ready, if you're so emotionally worked up, um, try your best to, like, resolve it a at, um, at a later date when you're a little bit calmer. And so I feel like you're going to be all over the place, putting out fires, um, doing damage control, helping people, and possibly feeling a little bit fluster. Keep your temper in check. I feel like in the work environment, um, people are slacking off, okay? This is like uh, the supervisor, the manager, the boss. This is somebody that wants things a very, very specific way. And Aquarius, they trust you when they assign you a task. They trust that you don't mind getting your hands dirty. You're going to do whatever necessary to get the work done. And then I also feel likewise, um, well, not likewise, but more on the opposite end of the spectrum. Um, co-workers around you, they're spending a lot of time either talking 
or gossiping. Okay, and I feel like it's it could be they're they're idle. They're just like uh, I can do that tomorrow. You're very busy, and they're just sitting around, not really doing a lot of work, and not really. Um, I I feel like more like gossiping, and be careful about this energy because I feel like they might be gossiping. There might be things that are coming out, um, possibly gossip about you that can get to your supervisor. Or if you're upset with this energy and you show it, if you're upset with these people and you show it, then I feel like, you know, it's, it's three people against your words, right? And if it gets up to the chain of command, you want to be a little bit careful about that. So long distance travel is not really supported for this week. If you're traveling or anything, be a little bit careful as well. Because what I have here is some major blockage. Eight of Wands is like communication coming from afar. Communication coming through from other people or through mail, or email or through uh, messaging or through, you know, telephone, text messages and things like that. And I feel like it can create a lot of discord in the work environment if you're not careful. If you're like communicating too fast or if you're throwing up too many ideas out there, I feel like they see you as someone who's a little bit scattered. But I feel like you have the support of higher ups. It's just a matter of you being very patient with the people that you're working with, okay? Um, we have the tower here and I pulled out two cards to clarify. What I have here is the Page of Cups and the Temperance card. The Temperance card is not losing your temper. The Page of Cups, this is an offer coming into the picture. So I feel like there might be somebody in the work environment. I, I keep seeing like um, somebody who is out sick and then the responsibilities get uh, routed to you. So like whatever they were supposed to do, they might not be feeling well. And they might call out sick and then you're stuck with their responsibilities. I also feel at the same time with this page of cups and the temperance card. This can be, um, you know, social outings as well as love offers coming in in the work front. And then as a result of it, it can interfere with your work. If you're dating somebody in the work environment as well, be very careful about gossip. Be very careful about people finding out. Make sure you find out through, you know, HR what you're supposed to do and when it comes to like, you know, dating co-workers and things like that, get that sorted out and cover your trail so that people don't find out about it. Okay. Um, I feel like there's a lot of uh, things happening in other areas of your life well, in love as well, but also in other areas of your life. So you want to make sure that you are well rested. You want to make sure that you don't, um, you don't get mired in the gossip and the the you know office politics and things like that okay um i also feel as well for those of you who are looking for like a change in your home environment the tower is like a, a structure usually home office there might be construction happening in your home people entering your home to do inspections and to fix things around the home there might also um, be a lot of contractors coming into the work um, the office to do a lot of work so things get messed up papers that you left important documents um, they might be misplaced or they might be shifted around and that's going to be a source of aggravation for you because innately as a fixed sign you are a creature of habit you want things a specific way so if there are too many people too many disruptions um, I anticipate I would anticipate a lot of disruptions in the work environment but also in the home environment okay um, I wish you all the best and, uh, you know, be patient this week, okay? Carry yourself, uh, slow down, carry yourself with a lot of grace, with a lot of uh, temperance, okay? Take care of yourself, Aquarius. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.